Orange Bowl. He has uh, Clemson. Look at on taking on uh, Tennessee now. I'm seeing five here, 63 and a half for the total. This two coming up end of the week, eight o'clock Eastern time. No Hendon Hooker, no Jalen Hyatt. Uh, we've got uh, a bit of a quarterback uh, change there for Clemson. Dave, when you put it all together, who do you give the edge to? Well, look, I, I the quarterback controversy at Clemson is finally done because DJ. <laughs> can't play a lele uh has moved he's gone so the guy who probably st should have been starting all year is finally starting mm -hmm. and so this is the first to me this is the first game of 2023 for clemson tennessee is tennessee excited about being here for this game i mean they had hopes of being in the playoffs after they beat alabama that didn't work out they lose hooker which is huge the backup can play but he's He's turnover prone. Um, I think Tennessee still might be, despite the fact that the underdog, they might still be the, the better team here. Uh, but I'm not sure of that. So it's going to be a lean for me on the Volunteers. I'm not going to be, let me, I, 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 I'm not going to bet this game, okay? Because mm -hmm. to me, there's too many unknowns. What I would do if you're going to bet it, uh, either lay it with Clemson, or take Tennessee on the money line. Because I think if it's close, Tennessee's going to find a way to win the game. That'll mean they're into it. In which case, their overall talent, I think, is better than Clemson's. And I think they'll find a way to win the game. So that would be my strategy. If you like Clemson, go ahead and lay it. If you like Tennessee, take a shot on the money line. If I'm playing with your money, I'm going to go Tennessee money line and see if I can get lucky. But it's not. this is not going to be a game I bet. So we, we've seen Trig the money uh, come towards Tennessee. This was sevens, uh, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Now it's uh, now we're seeing five and a half. Uh, Joe Milton is no, you know, he's no slouch. He's certainly not a uh, freshman that's never seen the field before. So he's got some experience for Tennessee. Do you trust Clemson's defense to uh, to slow down Josh Heupel and company here? Um, I still think Tennessee's offense will work. Here, I, 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 that's not going to be my angle as to why I go against Tennessee. But the only way I'm going to play this is Clemson. And I'm going to just kind of continue to watch and see if this number gets better. Because uh, I, I think Clemson is in a far better position to win this game than Tennessee is. First of all, Joe, I was at Clemson-Syracuse down at Death Valley, surrounded by very knowledgeable fans, right? Like everyone down there knows their stuff. Um, and it was the game where DJ finally got benched and multiple people in my section, just, it was like a collective so like <laughs> finally, right? Like finally not on the field. And what that tells me is club. I actually think club Nick's probably a, a, an upgrade at quarterback, um, as, oh, as absolutely. you know, for mm -hmm. this game. And I think Dave and I sort of talked about this on video last week and, and now to see this number even a little bit shorter. I mean, I, I'm real close to jumping in with Clemson based on on that, the fact that I think they have a an upgrade at the quarterback position and the fact that they return a lot of, of players that are going to be like ultra talents for next year. So it was a really good way to put it. The first game of next year for Clemson, Dabo prepares extremely well for bowl games. His record in bowl games is excellent. And I do think, you know, Clemson sort of, I don't want to say they were out of it early, but it was like, th this isn't a year where Clemson got to the bitter end with a shot to go to the college football playoff. At least in my opinion, I know that they were like hanging around top five, but they would have needed a, a, a lot of help to have any sort of chance to do that. So I think Clemson might actually be up for this game because of of the of looking forward to next year and the the players that they're returning that will play big roles next year, Tennessee, undisciplined team, heavily penalized. I think Sweeney's going to out prepare his opponent here, and for that reason, I'd lay the five with Clemson. All right, vote for Clemson here. What are you thinking, uh, Tony Finn? Are you uh, are you in Dabo's corner here, or do you think uh, Tennessee still a better team no matter what here? This is what I think I know, and that is that 
um, I don't know. Never been an oppressor with with uh, Dabo, but I have this feeling that he's an uber old, over the top competitive guy. Um, just seems that way. Anything I've ever listened to. Uh, I mean, all coaches are all football players to some degree. You got to have that ad. You got to have some kind of um, ridiculous competitive instinct to to be able to play at this level that we're talking about tonight. That's Tennessee and, and Clemson. But in this is this is a club Nick breakout party. I think that there's, they, the Clemson does have a lot to play for. Right, this Cade wants to perform well. He knows he's going to be the man going into next year unless something drastically changes. Um, and, and and we all knew this. We knew at some point in time, Dave mentioned it, it's true. At the at the peak this year, Tennessee was beats Alabama. They destroyed LSU. They were that was their they peaked a little early. Uh, but we knew at some point in time this year that their secondary was going to be an issue. And, you know, you may have thought it was going to be Anthony Richardson, you maybe Sten, uh Stinson Bennett, et cetera, et cetera. But it was really it was Spencer Rattler who absolutely destroyed them. Four hundred and forty, four hundred and thirty eight yards, six touchdowns. Uh, no picks from Spencer Rattler and a 63 to what was it? 63, 36, 63, 38 win. Um, geez, they look good, right? <laughs> Here's the problem. You got to be able to run the foot in this, in this offense, um, in this offense. And, and I, and listen, I'm a big fan of this offense. I'm a big fan of w- what, uh, what the coach did in the first year um, with this Tennessee team, should I say, but no hooker. And they have to be able to run the ball, and I just don't think they do it against Clemson. Only a couple teams were successful running the football against Clemson, and then they bring back Clemson brings back a ton of NFL talent on this defense, if these on the front. And if you can't run the ball for more than 150 yards, and Clemson only gave that up twice, I think this year, Florida State and Notre Dame, um, you, you're not going to win. Give me Clemson. All right, Clemson, it is. Uh, there you go, guys. That's going to be the Orange Bowl.